Greetings gamers and welcome to another Lasercorn channel video. And can you feel the excitement? Today is yes. D&D We're finally doing it! Yes! We're finally doing We've it! We've got dice, we've got <laughs> stat sheets, I got a little notebook. You I've got, got a, a story. Hat? Yeah! I, 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 is that yeah. plus two to defense? It is, yeah. <laughs> See, I, didn't, I barely even felt that. Uh, so this is very exciting. I know, and you need some Tylenol. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every Friday right here uh, going forward, we're gonna see a D&D &D episode on this channel. And then uh, Thursdays over on the Jovenshire channel, there's going to be even more D&D. &D. So today's this one, and yesterday on my channel was a different party, different yeah. faces, so, same studio. Yes, yeah, so be sure to check that out too. And our DM is going to be uh, Mr. Jovenshire right here. Matthew Mercer, come on. Oh, Matthew no. Mercer, no, 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 no. Sadly, he's leaving. He left. Why, why, why is he leaving? I got so excited. Uh, yeah, no, I am. Sadly, we could not get Matthew. I shall be your second rate Matthew yeah. Mercer. Uh, we have uh, a unique story. This, this was written specifically for this series. Um, these guys created their characters, uh, and we'll, we'll go through all that in a second. There's a lot of rules to Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, we are playing uh, fifth edition, so a lot of it is a lot simpler. But note that we are cutting out a lot of stuff, so you might not see some rolls. Just Roll with the punches, have a good time. Uh, roll uh, with the punches. Uh, yeah. uh, I was thinking about making that my new slogan when it comes to like D&D. &D. But yeah, we do have, we have some of the members of uh, New Element 6 here. Oh, with a uh, very special guest, Noah Grossman. Hey, oh, oh, hey buddy. Oh, oh, it's oh. me. It's Noah. Thank you so much for the invite. I, I always have the best time here. And uh, let's go around and maybe yeah. introduce ourselves and who we're playing. Yeah, Ooh, start with yeah. Noah, start with okay. Noah. I am Noah Grossman, but today I shall be known as Deborah Mustard the Nefarious. I am a rock gnome. I am a warlock. I've got some magic. I've got a light hammer and some daggers, a javelin, and of course, this is my character. Oh, okay, a character sketch. I love it. That's <laughs> this great. This is Deborah Mustard. Mari, who are you bringing to the table? I am Kaizen Voldra. I am a monk. I am an elf. Write this name down. Yeah, write it down. Don't call me other things. My name is Kaizen. I come from deep elven hierarchy roots. I know a lot of samurai things, and I keep a uh, samurai sword, a family heirloom. But I've also gone into some nefarious things and have learned the ways of vagrants as well. <laughs> nefarious <laughs> vagrants. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I, I carry around some shuriken and uh, the most dangerous weapon, these two fists. Oh! <laughs> I'm so Leave scared. it to Mari to somehow find a way to make a samurai style uh, elf monk. Yes. Yeah. Good for you. Yes, yeah. my race is Asian. Congratulations, you've made yourself <laughs> a DVD yeah. game. Yeah, you made yourself. Um, hold on. No? Wes. All right. Wes. All right. Who all right. We, it's your channel. I, I want them to see you last. Uh, I'm playing Sky Pembroke, a <laughs> half elf druid. Uh, what? No, I just, you, you made a name, a good, it's a good name. Yeah, that's a good name, I, yeah, I, name. Good name. I recognize your I won't make, make fun of your name, I characters might. No, yeah. I was named for the sky above the high ground. Hence my name, Sky Pembroke. Mm. Pembroke uh, is... It, it's over, he has the high ground. <laughs> it's over, Anakin! And because you're a druid, you're much more with nature. Is there anything yeah. that you want the audience to know right now? What kind of druid you are? Because they do kind of run uh, slightly different. I would murder everyone at a logging company. We've been wanting to do D&D &D for a very long time. Uh, and... We obviously wanted, we wanted it, but the main reason I wanted to do d d is so we can finally introduce to the world my favorite D&D &D character. I, I, uh, uh, I am Lasercorn, and today I will be playing a character that I've played in other campaigns. He is Krulax! <laughs> he is a dwarf warrior! And, uh, Kru uh, I'm sorry, that's Krulax with two X's at the end. And uh, Krulax uh, loves nothing more than his favorite axes. He carries a battle axe, and also a throwing axe, and to round it out, another throwing axe. <laughs> And, uh, you know, he likes to have a drink every now and then. Krulax! Yes. Do you need I more axes? I do like my axes. Should yeah. we roll to see if you get more axes? What? Can I roll for more no, axes? No, you can't roll for more axes. And I've been known to... I'm, I'm very handy. I can kind of MacGyver those Wait axes. Wait a second. Can he axe for more axes? Yes, I You can axe for yes. more. I might give them to you. Uh, yeah. So we've got a Japanese monk and someone a part of the Axis uh, Society. Uh, this will be great. <laughs> no, wait, 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 I know where you're going, stop. Wait, 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 yes. Was that a World War II joke? Yeah, yeah. sure was. Krulax, Krulax enjoys drinking and fighting and he's ready to get in to the action. Oh, oh, to God. the ac action. Oof. 
Uh, all right, we know our characters. We know who's running this ship. Uh, let's roll with the punches. It's gonna get old. It's gonna oh get old. Oh my god. <laughs> it's all the silence. Uh, our story opens. Ooh. I know what this ship looks like. And uh, you guys, the four of you are together in one area. Okay. Uh, you are in a prisoner paddy wagon of sorts. You are being in a horse-drawn paddy wagon. Uh, you are all, you are with a few other prisoners. Um, and Mari. Wait, we're all You're we're all prisoners? We're prisoners? You're Do all I have my wagon? access? Uh, you are uh, you are currently bound with uh -huh. your hands. Uh, you do not have your no! weapons No! My axes! You are now axeless. My precious axes. <laughs> um, uh, there is one guard this with This is you. unacceptable! Sorry. That was good. That, I'm gonna that was a good one. That was yeah, a good one. Honestly, that's not gonna go. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, uh, so you notice there is one guard in the paddy wagon with you and uh, two other prisoners. And then you hear voices um, outside, so you don't know how many uh, prisoners there might be. Uh, maybe some of you could roll for that in a little bit. Uh, but as Mari, uh, as your character, as I wrote these down. Say my name. Uh, as Kaizen Voldra finally starts to awaken, you are the last of, your, of these four to awake. And you hear the guard say, hey wait, you. Wait, before they say that, hey you. You're finally awake. Hey, you, you're finally awake. I'm sorry, did I miss something? Take it away. Uh, yeah, we've been captured. I don't know what you did, but uh, we're, we're, in, we're in a prison wagon. Right. This is all part of the plan. Oh, okay. Wasn't part of my plan. But <laughs> it was not part of my plan either. Uh, since we're all in this wagon together, right, maybe we should introduce ourselves, get to know each other. Hi, I'm Krulax. I normally have some axes, but they took those away. Pretty sad about that. I'm Sky. Okay. Hi, I'm down here. I'm very small. I'm small. I'm three feet tall, no, and yes. my skin is kind of like rock. My name is Deborah Mustard. You're a gnome. A gnomish. <laughs> yes. Deborah. I uh, prefer to be called uh, Deborah Mustard. Don't okay. Call me by my race. That's it. And that's a man's name, and you're a male name, and, uh, and I am male. Can you not see my gnome genitalia <laughs> exposed currently? What? No. Why is it exposed? I mean, yeah. Why is it exposed? <laughs> Hey, I'm bound. I can't pull these these rags up. I, I was the clothes are too big. They didn't right. have gnome sized clothes. Uh -huh. My name is Kaizen. Okay. I come from the Greywood Forest, also known as the Milfwood Forest. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I didn't write that. She wrote that herself. I didn't come up with that. I don't know where that. I don't even know if that's a D and D thing. Yeah. You're of the Milfwood. How do you spell it? M I L. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Wood. You didn't even want to go with like the Y instead of an I? No, it's no. Milfwood, okay. And how did you get captured, do you remember? Oh, I didn't get captured. I'm oh, okay. infiltrating. Oh. Uh, uh, hold on. Hey, what did you just say? The guard uh, looks at you, stands up in the paddy wagon and walks up to you. Uh, roll for confusion? Oh, uh, I, that's that's a net one. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, I'm I'm so sorry. I'm just never mind. I'm gonna I must have misheard. I'm gonna go sit down again. <laughs> yeah, I don't think my soldier understands that yeah. language. <laughs> Deborah, yeah. what are you in for? I mean, what were you doing? Well, I'm a spy, and I like to use my magic in order to do nefarious deeds. Uh, and I may or may not have pranked a king. Um, in the process of trying to steal so, a family jewel. So not a very good spy, because you got caught. I have fun with my missions. All right. Uh, I uh, was attempting to stop a logging company from destroying a forest where a lot of animals live. Oh, that's like a very noble thing to do. Did you succeed? Have you seen squirrels? They're adorable. Yeah, squirrels. Well, I kind of feel like they're nature's crackheads. They're always looking around. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, whatever the equivalent of crack is. <laughs> Wow, you guys, you guys are all in for very like mysterious and noble reasons. I got in a fight with a barkeep. Not in a bar. I th well, I threw a barkeeper into a beekeeper. I was buying honey. It's a whole thing. The guards were not happy. Anyway, now I'm here. I, there were like five of them. One of them whacked me on the head. Woke up in this wagon. It was a whole mess. He was holding bees at the time. 
Uh, let me get wisdom checks from all of you. So roll a d20 and add your wisdom check. You two don't know where you are. Wes? Six. Six. Okay, the three of you don't know where you are. You, player knowledge, you know that you are in the land of Targus. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, if you'd like, just as you use that, that is information that you have as a character. These guys do not. Okay. Uh, this is Targus. Usually a pretty decent place, but, uh, right now, not so great for me. Uh, as you guys are talking, um, one of the other prisoners, um, actually winds up talking to the other prisoner and, uh, starts to kick him a little bit to wake him up. And he's like, hey, clear! if I'm stuck in this mess, so are you. And uh, the guard, punching the guy that, that kicked the other prisoner, punches him in the face, saying, keep quiet, no more talking. Where do you think they're taking us? I think they're taking us to a very deep hole. Okay, like a, like a prison hole? I think it's a hole so deep that we'll never hit the bottom once they toss us off the edge. That, that would be unfortunate. I hope that's not the case. <laughs> <laughs> My crime was, I threw a guy into another guy. That's, death penalty seems a bit steep for me. Mm -hmm. Well, technically, if you're falling forever, it won't. It'll take you a little while to die. Yeah, yeah. when you fall uh, into a bottomless pit, uh, I hear you die of starvation. The, the soldier interrupts. <laughs> you guys have all committed crimes in the land of Targus. There's only one penalty for the crimes. Come Ooh. on, dumb dwarf, you should know this Wait, right now. Wait, there's one penalty for all crimes? I feel like we need to reform the criminal justice system here. If you have any problems with the laws of the land, you can take it up with King Essius himself. Maybe I will. I do have several things I would like to talk to this king about. Well, okay. we should be there soon, so. Is this the king you pranked? It is. This king once stole a family jewel of mine, the great mustard jewel. Trying to get the family jewels while revealing your family jewels, <laughs> yeah. it sounds like. <laughs> yes. Your gnome genitalia. Yeah, when we get unbound, <laughs> please put some clothes on. I'll think about it. <laughs> so, as you guys are talking, the guy that got punched earlier actually uh, breaks his binds. Ooh and winds up punching the guard once and then starts walloping his, uh, the other prisoner there in the, in the, uh, punched in the, the guard? wagon. Oh. Punched the guard one time and started punching his friend. Now's our chance to escape. Let's, let's attack let's the guards. Let's get out of here. I like that. Yes, we attack the guard. So I, I stand up and I try to swing at the guard with my bound hands. All right, uh, you, 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 you tried. Does anyone else want to, uh, this, this dwarf that you just met? Yes. Uh, as he is doing the strike, quick using my acrobatic abilities, I quickly place myself beneath the guard's legs so that there may be a table topping maneuver taken. All right, well, roll. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm so <laughs> small. Uh, roll acrobatics for me. He's still naked. As a proficiency, okay. <laughs> 13. All right, you are one naked gnome doing whatever it is that you want to be table doing. Table topping. I You're table topping. <laughs> Hey, we're table topping. Uh, You're doing something else. <laughs> I would like to use an unarmed attack to shove said uh, said person over over his tabletop. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, I will go ahead and uh, the, you're doing the same thing. Roll two d20 for me and take uh, you have disadvantage. So take it the smallest one. Oh no, a three. Um, sorry. Sky. Uh, I'm not a fan of gratuitous violence, so instead I'm going to uh, use mold earth. I'm molding the dirt underneath, the, uh, in front of one of the wagon wheels, so that okay. when uh, it hits the mound of dirt, it will create a, an action and the wheel will break. You have felt the wagon stop. because you hear rustling uh, around. Whoever was driving the cart has moved from driving the cart. Are my legs bound as well, or just my arms? Uh, they're not bound, but they are chained, so you have a, uh, it's a, a limited range. Have we successfully tabletop the guard over my no. frame? No, you have not. So I am still crouched behind his legs and he has twice just been tapped. Yeah, so what, yes, yeah, correct. describe what's okay. happening. Uh, that, that's what just happened. Okay, okay. Uh, so we'll start back with you again, if you mm -hmm. would like to try something a second time. Can I see keys on the guard? Uh, roll a perception check for me. Six. You do not see keys on him. <laughs> I would like to try and, with the, the other prisoner broke his hand bindings, right? Yes. So, so what is binding my hands? Uh, uh, rope. Your rope team. Oh, okay. I would like to try and break out of my rope. Give me a strength check. Natural oh, one. Yeah. Natural <laughs> one. All right. You a laser cord roll oh, if ever I've seen one. Uh, so and it begins. I'm gonna let you describe this one. You, uh... uh okay, so I go, I go, I will use my dwarf strength to break these ropes. <laughs> One, two, three, oh, and you get rope. Ah, I have rope burned now. <laughs> I use a command spell on the uh, 
guard who should have been pushed over my frame, but instead is still standing there. And uh, the command that I give him is leave. Uh, so you use command, I did not roll well. Uh, so you told him to leave. Mm -hmm. So he stands up, you are still prone on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and he leaves and he walks past you guys in the paddy wagon and opens the gate. And uh, what you see are 20 heavily armed guards at the entrance as one of the soldiers is like, Brigands, what are you doing? Why are you leaving? Get back in there. And he kind of shakes it off and looks at you guys. And then he uh, runs in, grabs the first prisoner, pulls him out, and in front of all your faces, stabs him right in the throat. Oh! Mm -hmm. Don't like that. That was not that my seemed don't unnecessary. Like that. Don't I like that. Oh. Uh, and the guard that yelled the first time, uh, you see he's like draped with like a, he has a draped red, um, kind of like sash. You, maybe he's the guy in charge. And he says, Brigands! Get back in there. Any more uh, actions from these guys, kill them all. Also, three more guards, get in here. Mm. No, two more guards, get in there. I would just like to say I have not taken a single violent action against anyone. Yeah, well I just saw some violent action, which means that's a go for me. I would like to take my bound hand <laughs> and take it around the, the guy who just stabbed, he yes. stabbed. Put it around his neck. I was just gonna Liu Kang him. Yes. Okay. Um, yes. Roll a uh, strength check. <laughs> Mara, you Ten. prepared a, you Ten. prepared an additional character sheet, right? Uh, you get him. <laughs> get him. Uh, and then four more guards come up to uh, um, uh, grab you and knock you out. Ooh. And you take uh, two damage. Oh. Luckily, I just rolled a one, so you take two damage and you're unconscious. What? What? I don't believe this is the scenario to fight. Mike. Yeah, it seems like we're a little outnumbered. That was cool though. That was, that was really awesome. <laughs> Especially after that, that guy was like, kill anyone who, who tries anything. <laughs> Guards, in the paddy wagon. You, fix the wheel that just broke. Everyone, get ready to move forward. We're not too far from the Coliseum. And then uh, about an hour later, you roll up and uh, you, you hear there's some uh, commotion around you. You hear gates opening. You hear, um, chanting and, and yelling and screaming, but it seems a little more boisterous, like a celebratory. And you guys realize that you are entering the Coliseum of Targus. So the paddy wagon opens and all the guards push you guys out. And um, the soldier comes out and says, all right, first up is gonna be the four of you. You're in the first match of the day. Come through this room. We'll unbound you in the caged area. You'll have a chance to re-equip yourselves and get ready for your first fight. Yeah, so I, I think, uh, I, I, I have been to the Coliseum before, and the, the way they try criminals here is kind of a, a trial by combat type thing. Uh, we're probably gonna have to fight some people, but it's better than an actual trial, because I was, I was pretty guilty. Uh, you didn't hear any of this. Would anyone like to wake up uh, the, the very bruised uh, Kaizen? I would. I would like to take my uh, mage hand, which I make a floating hand happen, and I float it over to her mouth and nose, and I cover both until she wakes up. That's not okay. how you wake a person. <laughs> um, That's how you kill someone. Um, um, Mari, roll a d20 for me. Please don't kill me. 19. You get your breath and you wake up. <laughs> well, my hands were bound. It's all I could do. <laughs> Why would you, you have just that? like poked her with the mage hand? No. Um, uh, the guard pushes you guys <laughs> into this gated area. You see some weapons uh, around you. And then he goes back outside of the gate and closes it and locks it. And you guys have to stick your arms uh, through it one at a time and he unbounds your hands. Oh. And uh, your unbinds. feet get unlocked. Unbinds, yeah, that's a word. And then he unlocks the, the shackles that were on your feet. So you guys are all uh, free to look around. And what you see is uh, all of your equipment that was taken from you. Oh, excellent. So um, uh, starting down here, Noah, can you say what you recognize in this room? Oh my goodness, if it's not Little Debbie right here, my light hammer, I don't, I can't imagine life without it. I've got Little Debbie, my light hammer. I've of course got my Java, uh, that's short for Javelin. And I carry two daggers on me at any time because I will cut a bitch. <laughs> wow. Um, uh, Kaizen? Oh, I see my sword, Olkami. Uh, passed it's on down, the ground, by the way. Passed down for generations, covered in dirt. It's completely pissing me off, absolutely. Um, I see my shuriken uh, all over the, the ground, actually. I should have 
Twelve? Two of them? Thirteen? Two to twelve? Baker doesn't. Uh, twelve of them, I they're scattered about, uh, and, and I'm picking up the pieces. I do see an axe over here. I've never used an axe. That, that yeah, that, be an that's me. Thing. No. Oh. Yeah, that's my axe. <laughs> well, you guys have names for your weapons. Yeah, me too. Uh, his, his name's Axie. A Axie the Axe. And I didn't make that up just now. Uh, I, I also named my weapon a long time ago, like you named yours little Debbie and Okama. Because yes, that's, that's a cool original. thing to do. Very original. Yeah, and I also pick up my little hand axes. We're not naming the little one. Yeah, no, just Axie and the hand axes. <laughs> I'm like, this is very I exciting. Have band. I have my Axie and the hand axes. Yeah, that's what? a, that's a band, band, band Axie and the hand axes. <laughs> <laughs> and we find some bards. I pick up my scimitar and uh, calmly put it away, but I get very excited when I come across my herbalism kit. This is oh, very exciting. Hey, yeah. hey, very hey, exciting. Is that medicinal? It's, it's legal it's in, in, in Targus. Oh, okay. Okay. In Targus? I'm a druid. It's part of my religion. So you guys get your equipment. Obviously, the guards are still there at the other side of the gate, and it is locked. You can't get through that gate. All you have is this other wooded door, and you hear just an audience. You hear excitement. Uh, what else do I see in the room? Is there, like, I know there's the locked door, and there were the places for our weapons. Uh, do I see through the, the, the gate? So all you get is that it is outdoors, and the light is shining through. I'm asking a little bit more for sky, but what is the ground made of? Is there uh, rocks? You, is Targus there dirt? Is, is there mud? Targus is a land notorious known for its desert desert terrain. So it's mostly sand and, you know, ground. Just Not necessarily gravel. dirt, gravel. <laughs> You know, it would be a little more gen generic. Ground. Um, sand and ground. Sand and ground. Sand and ground. So sand been, and ground. I've What's under the sand? Ground. <laughs> I've been living in Targus. How much do I know about this? Like, can I roll to see how much I know about Give the, me a the history check. stuff? Okay, oh, that's 20. That's wow. 20. Right. You can tell okay. me now. You know more than I oh do. My God. All right. <laughs> Set the rules. Uh, so so I've, been, I've been to the Coliseum. My memory's a little fuzzy. I always get at least a few meads from the mead vendor uh, when I'm there. But last time, uh, there was a fellow accused of stealing apples. <clears throat> and the king brought him out, and he said, You've been accused of stealing apples. And the guy said, I didn't do it. And then the king said, release the lions. And the guy had a sword. And he actually got a pretty good shot off at the first lion. But then like the other three lions ripped him apart. Uh, the rest of the day went kind of like that. <laughs> so you're so telling me that we'll be fighting That was the last time I was here. So what you're telling me is going out there probably isn't our best plan. Uh, I mean, I, I'm not sure we have another choice, but yeah. I mean, this isn't really a plan. We've been thrown well, in jail. You have, you have, I didn't plan any of this. You, you now have an axe, and that looks like a very wooden door. Over yeah, there. that leads to the Colosseum. Great. I agree with your thinking, cool. Sky. We should chop down the door in order to make a grand entrance. Is that where you were going with that? Kind of seems like we should save our energy. No, I'm not a, but I'm not against it. I've got an axe uh, right here. Uh, well, it might. Get I'm very through. excited to use it. Uh, you start to hear. Just the entire audience is like stomping their feet outside, calling for you, for you guys to come out. Oh, uh, I like an audience. You, you know, based on your net 20, that <laughs> hey. the king is known to be here for these uh, rulings, right? And you don't want to keep him waiting. But well, that is but is the door you know. is the door open? No, it's not. The door is still closed. Well, how are we keeping him waiting then? You have to walk through the door. It's a door. Oh, it just, I thought, I, I didn't know we could. Yeah, I just walk over and push it open then. Hey, look, we get, there's four of us. We can take a few lions. Come on, guys, let's go. And I push open the door. Uh, we have our weapons. All right, and as you open the door, uh, uh, just the, the most elaborate, coolest looking Coliseum you've ever seen in your lives. Obviously, all the taxes of the land are going towards this Coliseum. People are drinking, they're eating. You see out in the distance, there's like a like an, like a a platform on there and you see uh, the king, Essius of the land. You recognize him. Ah yes, Essius of Targus. Uh, kind of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one punishment for every crime. <laughs> that was his decree. And uh, as you guys step out, Not a very fair the, the excited yelling gets louder. <laughs> Woo! Hello, Targus! <laughs> We are in the house! <laughs> I love it. And uh, nice standing next job. to the king is a robed man. Uh, he walks forward, and from this area, he, he yells down to you guys, You here are to perform for the people of Targus for your crimes against the land! 
You shall be judged by the High King himself, mm -hmm. King Asius! And everyone yells and shouts even louder. How do you plead? Oh, I didn't even know we got to do this part. I forgot about this. Yeah, not guilty. Can we, can we go? Not guilty. It says here on my pamphlet that you have all been found guilty regardless. Well, if you already knew that, why should you even ask us? It's how the law works. These laws are dumb. Asius, we're like Asius. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and, and the robed man uh, starts to shake a little bit and, and turns back and it starts to apologizing to the king as the king stands up and starts to walk forward. Do you dare mock King Asius of Targus in my own home? You smell! Yeah! Ah! Oh, you smell! You're a smelly king! Ah! Uh, you suck! Kinda hot though. Well! <laughs> Alright, we don't. Glad that we have such characters here with us for our entertainment. And here I was going to start things off nice and easy with an army of goblins. I asked the people of Targus, do we give them an army of goblins? And they all cheer and they're all loud. And Goblins the, are the little king bitches, we can take him. <laughs> cuts them off. But because you have hurt my name in my home, today you shall fight the biggest, meanest creatures we have here in the Colosseum. The Dire Trolls! Oh, oh, oh they, Dire Trolls? Yes, they're like regular trolls, only much more dire. Uh, <laughs> um, I do believe our situation is also uh, quite nice. As, as a, a gate opens on the opposite side and running out are these, the, you've seen trolls before, these ones are hairier, they're full of mucus, they're snarling, and they look aggressive. How many? Uh, there are three. Uh, three dire trolls. My favorite part, roll for initiative. So it's gonna be a laser corn, Noah, Krulax. Bari, okay. Uh, Krulax, Debra, Kaizen, and Sky. And then uh, my, my trolls. All right, laser corn, you are up. All right, new friends, I say we take up a defensive position. Everyone form up on me, and I run up like 10 feet, and I get my, my battle axe ready. All right, uh, so you are but doing a defensive yeah, position? because they're like coming at us, They're right? coming at you. They're charging. Yes, defensive position. Okay, I want to attack anything that gets near me. And I would like to take to the front position. Okay. So I would like to be up front. And I'm like, get behind, get, form up on me. Okay, form up on you, and you're saying the first thing that gets close to you, you are going to take a hit on. Yeah, yeah I'm okay. swinging at whatever comes at me. Uh, all right, team. I think this is a good plan. I think we'd be defensive. You guys deal with the dire trolls. I'm going to create a massive distraction. Mm. I walk myself up about five feet behind the great. Uh, yes. Did you ever clothe yourself? No, I'm still okay. naked. Okay, you're still a naked gnome. I'm, I'm a rock gnome, so my skin yeah. is, you know, you'd never know because my balls are. There's still pebbles. a little pebble there. Yeah. <laughs> so I. We're all going to die. Sorry. <laughs> say, in a defensive position behind Krulax, mm -hmm. ducking down a little bit, I make eye contact with the king, having a clear line of sight as he is so up, and I use a command spell and I tell the king, attack. Uh, okay. Uh, oh. so you were using your, your command. I'm using my command and I'm creating a massive distraction in the stands, making the so king that's against assault the, those near him. Uh, a wisdom check? Oh, he can attack me. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> um, because the audience is, is chanting and mm -hmm. yelling, not chanting, but they're yelling, the king can't hear you. Everyone is very oh, excited. My spell failed. uses, uses audio? Yeah, wow. yeah, it's a spell. It's, it's a command, command. spell. You have to, they have to hear you. They have yeah. to hear me? Yeah. yeah. I thought you I could just them to do something. something. No, oh. it's... Oh, they gotta be an earshot? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Well, I'm just we gonna hide him? behind you. <laughs> I apologize. It seems I didn't understand my own magic. I am hiding behind you, Kulax. Please uh, save me, friends. We all have to fail in order to win. What? So he, oh, okay. He so used his weird. action, yeah. yeah. Does anyone have, like, any ranged attacks, I maybe? do, I do. Right. Okay. I've, I've got some shurikens ready. I'm going straight for their eyeballs. I'm gonna go for the, well, you're gonna take the first one? Uh, okay, so I get into an also defensive uh, maneuver right next to uh, Krulax, getting ready with my shurikens. As soon as they're in range, which is 20 feet, I'm gonna go straight for their eyeballs. Uh, yeah, I, well, I, I would like to make a perception check. Yes, I forgot to do that one. Uh, perception check. Uh, perception check? Uh, 16. Uh, you see there are um, 
There's like metal columns. There's four of them kind of on the outskirts a little bit. Uh, there's chains that come from them. I think um, Star Wars Episode Two when they were in the Geno yeah. yeah. Um, and then you'll also notice that there are chains that are linked to the ground. Um, perhaps maybe where the lions were, were kind of held tight. For my action, I'm actually going to raise up the dirt underneath Krulax to give him the height advantage so he can actually strike at some of the more vital areas. Oh, wow. okay, how high? Uh, five feet up. Okay, um, give me... It's over, trolls! I have the high ground. <laughs> uh, Liz, you're give me... You're uh, right on their level now. Roll, roll a d20. <laughs> 16. Okay. Oh, you, you were surprised because he didn't tell you what he was uh, doing, and you had no clue that he could do that. But I kept my balance. I'm very you sure kept your balance. <laughs> Warn me next time! One of them now makes it into range. It was the one that's kind of leading the pack. So this one makes it, uh, How in your are? range of shuriken. So it's now within 20 feet. That's a hit. Go ahead and roll uh, damage for me. Eight. You did eight, eight damage? Yeah, five plus three. They continue to run, and they are, actually they're gonna do a mad dash. So they are now up to you. Okay. So there's one in front of you, one in front of you at eye level. Has, is that the one that took the shuriken? Uh, yes, the okay. one that's in front of you is at, at eye level. And I'm cowering behind the pillar. You are cowering behind the pillar. Of sand. And you're still behind. Mm -hmm. So they actually had to do a mad dash. Um, the third one is now next to the pillar, mm -hmm. and he can see you. So you aren't hiding or anything, he's line no. of sight. Uh, he does not see you because you technically are hiding behind that pillar. All right, well now that they're up to us, I'd like to jump off this pillar and hit this first uh, troll in the face with my axe. Okay. Because we're at eye level now. Thank you very much, by the way, for bringing me up to uh, eye level. Uh, first, give me an acrobatics check before okay. your attack, because you're doing a jump. 19, oh, that should be yeah. good. All right. Yeah! Plus yeah. one, now, uh, so 20. Um, 20! So what I will do is, now that you've jumped and you are above this troll, I'm going to give you uh, advantage on your next hit. Woo! All nice. right! Nice jump. Yeah. Wow. 11. Plus. Uh, the, uh, 11 oh. plus. If oh, you plus use five. Your cheat sheet, it's oh, right yeah, 16, 16. 16, all right, that's a hit. Roll for damage. Woo! Okay. Wow, now you guys want to roll good. Good. <laughs> Four plus three slashing. You take a strong hit on his head, and he looks woozy. And then I, I say something like, uh, for every action, there is a reaction. Uh, and, and you like jumped, and you, you're now down off the map. Yeah, yeah. Great. So I hit him in the head, and then kind of Great. fell, pulled my axe uh, back out. And when you do that, the crowd pops, and yeah. King Essius looks mad. Suck it, Essius! So as... Essius! <laughs> as I see the dire troll run towards Sky, I am hidden from behind the pillar. The moment that I see its foot, I take out my dagger and I stab one Achilles heel. I stab him right in the Achilles Ooh, heel. You're gonna, use nice. the, you're, you're gonna use the dagger? I'm going to use, I'm going to use a light attack uh, starting with my dagger. I shall attack with my dagger All first, right. slicing hopefully the Achilles heel. Uh, roll. He's close enough to you. One. <laughs> you rolled <Jesus>. one. <laughs> um, no, yeah, no, so no, what no, happened no. was like, you tried to stab him and it, it stabbed, but it like broke off. Well, Ooh. good thing for me, I also have my trusty hammer, Little Debbie. <laughs> and of course, with my two weapon fighting abilities, I go with my dagger, making nothing but a paper cut, but striking in the same motion with my other hand, I go for the inside of the kneecap okay. with my light hammer. Roll for it. Little Debbie. Trying to little slow Debbie. down this dagger Debbie, let's Come on, go. Little Debbie! Well, Deb! Oh, no! Little Debbie! Uh, little Deb hits. Yeah, that's, that's a hit. Three damage, but right. I hit him right in that kneecap. Um, great. He didn't know I was there. No, you you definitely caught his surprise. Oh, he yes. snarls and looks down at this naked little gnome. So, uh, so to be clear, the troll is still up and functioning, though. Both uh, both oh, hit trolls are still up and functioning. Okay. So now, uh, now uh, Kaiser Permanente, you get to make a... Don't answer. call me Kaiser Permanente. My name is Kaizen. I have 11 shuriken left. However, I'm going to unsheathe my sword and go straight for the one that is right in front of me. Okay, go ahead and uh, roll your attack. Is, is that the third, now the uninjured one? No! Yes. What'd you roll? Uh, seven. Total seven. Total okay. seven. Uh, so you slice and uh, the, the, um, the, what is it? The, the troll just grabs your sword as you slide it through. 
Yeah, you might have cut his hand, but you don't see that it had any effect on it. Not even one damage. But you made an attack. Slice, slice better! Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna use my bonus attack, which is an unarmed attack, uh, right after. Okay. You jump up to kick it in its face, and it just. What was that? Not much. Not much. Not much. Not much. Yeah. But it's something. I look up to the king to see if he's like interested. <laughs> like maybe, maybe he's like, oh. It looks down. Hmm. Yeah, it was pretty dope. It was. <laughs> uh, um, and yeah. now to uh, our very cautious okay. druid. Okay, Henry. Playing it smart. I just playing. Yes, I'm. I, he's very calm. Uh, I uh, I now because you've jumped down, I am going to uh, take the troll and sink it into the ground five feet, so that now you are at level with it again. So that's okay. So okay. that's the weak one. Yep. So yeah, he, he has no combat against it. Yeah, he sinks down. He's All right. Uh, the seven. troll's turn. One of them is still standing and starts to shake it off. Um, now we have the troll that's looking at you is going to uh, do a bite on you, actually. No, don't, no, don't, don't, don't do that. Um, that is a nine. Does that beat your AC? Nope, my AC is 15. All right, great, oh, after oh, the very bite. Very good air conditioning. Uh, mm -hmm. After the bite, he actually then tries to claw you. Oh, he's double attacking. Oh! oh! Wait, what is, why, why? They're dire trolls, they attack twice. Ugh. Uh, so that is an automatic hit. Now keep in mind, uh, you did not um, uh, uh, heal because you got knocked out because of your insubordination in the thing. So how many total hit points do you have right now? Two. No, no, no. No, you, you lost. Oh, sorry, two. I have nine. No, I had seven. Start with nine. You were down to seven. Seven. Two claws on Mari. Uh, you take four damage. Oh. Jesus. He is almost dead. All right, so that's that uh, troll, and then. The troll at you guys. I need to heal. Actually goes and swipes on you. Oh god, I got acrobatics. Uh, oh, that's Jesus. a nineteen. So, but so he's quite the roller. Oh boy. Uh, you take three damage. Oh boy, I'm down to seven HP. Okay. Uh, and it's gonna be a short uh, game. swipes uh, and goes to bite you. Uh, nine. All right, you avoid the bite. All right, that's my guys. I calmly step All out right. of the way with my hands behind my back. Just, <laughs> yep. Why did my asshole guy attack me twice? What a dick. Oh no, he attacked uh, twice. Technically this troll yeah. attacked he twice He just also. punched me and then tried to bite him, but yeah. you know. And I this just troll, uh, the first troll didn't do anything. Yeah, because he's in the ground. Yeah, we're back to me. Hey guys, look, look, a troll in a hole. And then I <laughs> run, I run over <laughs> and I try to decapitate this troll. <sighs> Decapitation! Oh, wow, you God. did so two well. ones? I rolled a four and a one, so I get a, a nine. Um, okay, you said you went for a decapitation. Uh, you didn't get the decapitation, but you were able to hit his shoulder, and he just clumped over and died. <laughs> Sweet! Yeah. I killed one! I, uh, I missed the decapitation. <laughs> over Debra? here, Deborah Mustard just got swiped in the mouth, but I've got acrobatic abilities. I got hit in the face, but I, I roll with the punches. I do a little somersault and I take out my dagger again and I go now for the other Achilles heel. So your heel. second dagger? Yeah. Your first one broke. Uh-huh. Okay. I've got only one dagger left. My first one broke. So I've got one dagger and I go to try to now stab the other heel. Okay, roll. Nine. It's a miss. It's a miss? It's a miss. I miss with my dagger, but I spin around and now go for the kneecap again with Little Debbie. Go for it. Little Debbie! Let's go, Little Debbie! Come on! Delicious treat. Little Debbie with a four, a total of... Seven. Uh, that's a miss. And I miss again. I just totally spin out of the way. Yeah. Um, but uh, I move a little. Can I still move? You can. You'll take a, a, a hit from this guy if you move out of the way. If I move out yeah, of the way? You'll really take a hit from him. Okay, so I miss with both Maybe of them, and to avoid that. getting hit by him, in one that's motion, my tiny body, I hold onto his leg real tight. Just as Give tight me a strength check. Seven plus one. Okay, eight. Uh, you're holding on. Mm. Oh, shit. Shoot, but not okay. <laughs> I don't know if that was the right call, guys. Someone uh, help me. <laughs> I'm attached um, to a troll. Uh, Kaizen? Uh, yeah, I'm now in a meditative rage state. Uh, a little counterintuitive. It's not very monkish, but that's that's where I'm at. Uh, I take my uh, sword and uh, have it with both hands, and I go straight 
for jamming it through his head. Okay. Oh my gosh, why do I roll like this? What'd you get? Side of the Eight. Table. Eight, uh, 13. That's a miss. That's a miss. Um, wait, wait, you can unarm the strike, can't you? No. Oh yeah, you, you still get a second attack. Uh, ooh, that's an 18 plus five. All right, so you missed with your sword, but you hit him with what part of your body? Uh, an elbow. Okay, you, you missed the sword, they Tony followed through with the elbow. Tony style. All right, wow. roll for damage. That was pretty dope. Oh my gosh. What? Uh, eight. Eight total? Oh, hey, that's you just great. You elbowed a troll for eight damage? Yeah. Nice. Wow. Uh, I did more than the sword. Yeah, that elbow, yeah, that was a good hit. Oh, uh, on Buck! Do I kill uh, him? Nope. Yeah, at eight damage? Yeah. Do you at least hear like a bone snap? Uh, his jaw dislocates. That wow. troll, right. that troll oh. died in a hole. How come I can't get more than, okay, well, we I got broke a uh, <laughs> Yep, here we go. Sky, what do you got for us? Uh, oh. Judging the situation, uh, it seems like these two probably have that last troll uh, handled. So I'm going to <laughs> use uh, Thorn Whip around, the, attempt to uh, Thorn Whip around the neck of the troll closest to us and then yank it to the ground. Uh, okay, uh, roll, roll. Uh, okay, six damage. Six, holy crap. Uh, all right. Instead of pulling him to the ground, I just ripped the thorn whip off and did six Strips. damage around his neck. Great. From the thorns. Um, love it. Uh, the troll next to you uh, actually takes another hit on you. How much life do you have? Two. Three. Three? Three. Yep. Oh. Uh, 14? AC's 15. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh. And uh, he doesn't get his second attack on you either. Wow. Oh. He is, uh, yes. because he didn't get a second attack on you, you know that he must be less than half health. Uh, he sees that he's hit, he's enraged by it, goes to move, realizes there's someone on his foot, uh, does a strength check to throw you off. Um, wow. And he throws you like five feet. And uh, roll a d4 for me. One. Uh, you take one damage. Oh god, he threw me. Yeah. Uh, oh, my bum and then takes a sweat. Uh, takes tries to bite you. Uh, twenty four. Yeah, that hits. Yep. Oh, and twenty four, and that is. Whoa. Why are you rolling so well? So I'm trying to kill you. Uh, you take three damage. Oh boy. Uh, all right. So after he kicks you away, uh, he looks at you and goes to bite you on your shoulder and right in the joy. You know, you got some padding there from the robes, but you feel the pain. Mm -hmm. All right, that's the end of my uh, troll's turn. Okay, I'd like to axe him in the back. Back okay. axe. Backstab axe. Uh, axe stab. I'll give you advantage. I like back okay. axe. Okay, back axe. 13 with my plus five modifier. That, that's a miss. Sweet. Ooh. I was or thrown feet. five feet onto my bum bum. I look over and I see Mari kicking ass, but I kind of want to get a piece of that. So from my position where I landed, I use a spell. I use an Eldritch Blast and I shoot my spell at the uh, at the uh, mandible of the troll that was already dislocated, and I try to shoot it completely off. I go to hit him in the head with a spell, and I land on a 20. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, I, I, how much damage is it? Five. Five? All right, uh, and uh, because you got the crit, I'm gonna double it. Double it, I do 10 damage? You did 10 damage. With my so. 10 Woo! damage spell, I shoot <laughs> and I aim for the same Lowest broken jaw. mandible that was elbowed by Mari. Yeah. Wow, what a hero. And the jaw goes off, and you see the troll brains fall through <laughs> uh, down in front of her. Ew, Do they land on your head? They, can they land on your head? Yeah, technically so it's close? in front of her. It's oh, okay. just in front of her. On your shoes. <laughs> um, all right, so that's another dead troll, and we still have one troll left. I see that this troll is biting Sky's shoulder. I run over to it, I whip my sword back again, and I go straight for its throat. Uh, already weakened. Okay. So are you getting in front of it or behind it? If you're behind it, you're going to get advantage. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, lop it off, clean off from the back. All right. Oh. Yeah, it's going for cool kills instead of just Don't roll hits. low. You're doing this over Laser Corn's head. Oh, you are just behind so you know. him. Mm -hmm. You are behind him. I'm going to give you advantage. Seven damage. Great. All right. Uh, he's weak. He looks weak. Weak? You can punch him, though. Oh my god, you're totally right! <laughs> Stop forgetting that! <laughs> okay. Snap his neck, All now right. use your hand. <laughs> okay, so you're my, using your my, bonus attack. My bonus attack is Plus five. Uh, just a nine. That's a miss. Mm. Oh. All right. Uh, couldn't close the deal. Sky? That All right. no problem. Um, <laughs> I'm uh, going to uh, draw my scimitar and go in for a melee hit. Okay, go for it, roll. That wasn't good. What'd you roll? I rolled a four. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that's a uh, plus three, so seven. Uh, yep, that's a miss. Yep. Uh, troll goes for uh, a bite on you. You take three. 
Oh my wow. gosh. Oh. He's down to four. All right, yeah, uh, I'm gonna uh, try and chop its legs off. You have advantage. You should be able to kill this troll. I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> Work. And yeah, 18. 18. Wow, all right. right. Yeah. Double damage with your great axe. You finally did something. <laughs> I killed that first one. Ten. All right, ten damage. That killed it. You uh, plus, described plus the kill. Three. Okay, so uh, I chop the, the troll's legs off, and it goes clean through both its knees, and it's like, Rah! and then it's down on my level, and it stops biting Wes, and it turns. Or, I'm sorry, it stops biting Sky, and it turns around, and I'm like, hey troll, bite this, and then I just hit my axe right into its face and cleave straight up and away and cut its head into half pieces. of its face, fall yeah. to the ground. The audience erupts in cheers like they've never heard of the Colosseum before. King Essius, angry at what yeah. just happened. Hey, Essius, you like what we did to your trolls, Essius? <laughs> Silence, or I'll throw you back in the cages. Ah, uh -uh. trial by combat rules. We win the combat. We go free. Your new crime could come right here. Oh, I mean, sir, isn't that the rule, sir? Don't, don't we it don't looks free? like the gods have smiled upon you and you have your freedom for today. Be gone out of my sight, for now I need to find new dire trolls. Can I see if Essius is at least a little bit interested in me? <laughs> Perception, Perception check. Perception check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it's a two. Yeah, uh, he looks pissed that his dire trolls have lost. He's never lost to the dire trolls before. Um, as guards come out and push you guys out of the Colosseum, and you see people kind of like cleaning up the dire trolls as they get ready for the next fight there in the Colosseum. And then, uh, so as you guys get um, uh, brought out to the entrance, uh, there's a guard there. It's like, your freedom, enjoy it while you can. We do not want to see you commit another crime against the lands of Targus. But also, King Essius' eyes are everywhere. And he, uh, he walks away from you guys. And you guys are there just having a little mini celebration amongst yourselves as another man uh, uh, walks up and he's slow clapping as he walks up. Oh, we're getting a slow clap. You're getting a slow clap. Uh, That's awesome. Carry. All right. Yep, just like that, this man in, in brighter robes walks up to you, slow clapping. He's got guards with him at all times. They, they don't look as heavily clad as like maybe the soldiers, but they're, they're intimidating. Mm -hmm. And uh, this man comes in, he's like, that was one of the greatest fights I have seen ever in the time here at the Colosseum. I have never seen a group of warriors like you that can fight this well. This land does not see warriors such as yourself. Very impressive. How long have you guys known each other? We actually just met. It's weird, but yeah, I felt we really gelled out there. Mm -hmm. We came together as a team. I like what happened. Oh, I, I too think. Gelled. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that won me. Worms. I was like, maybe I don't like it, but he was, no, I like that. Yeah, <laughs> no, we he spots we slime gel. in his life. He knows what gel is. Yeah. Uh, it's like, I, in fact, there are no other warriors like you, and it just so happens that I need someone quite like yourself. Now, I don't know how familiar that you guys are with the land of Targus and King Essius, but though you have your freedom, that will not last long. Soon a bounty will go on your heads for some crime as the crimes of the lands occur, just for existing King Essius might have you thrown back into the Colosseum. The only way to really get your freedom is to buy it. Hmm. And luckily for you, I am a man of many golds and gemstones. Uh, and I am in need of warriors such as yourself to acquire an item for me. Mm. Would you guys be up for an adventure? Yeah, I had nothing on my schedule after Coliseum fight. I don't know about <laughs> the rest of you guys. I can pay handsomely. I I, after your previous stories, I did not uh, expect us all to survive this event. Was... Yeah, so, you, so your schedule's free too then, huh? Slightly, yes. Cool. And I, I, I'm kind of, I haven't had a job in a while. I did, but, you know, they heard about the beekeeper, barkeeper <laughs> thing. But they fired me. Anyway. I seem to have to push my date with King Essius a little bit. So, yes, I am free. I am looking for my family jewel. So I'm just going to keep looking for that. Let's, let's work as a team. Okay. Yeah, maybe you'll find it on the way. All right, yeah, we're, we're in. What's this item you want? So there's an item that I have just recently found a map for. Uh -huh. I, as a profession, acquire magical items and sell them to the highest bidders. Mm -hmm. And there's been an item that has been at the top of the bids for a long time. 
a very specific horn. Mm. And it'll be a dangerous trip. You might die. I don't have any warriors that could survive this trip. Therefore, I will be paying handsomely 10,000 gold for each of you. Ooh. That should clear your bounty here in Targus. Or take the gold and run and always have Targus on your back. But Did you say a Targus on your back? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> You'll die first, won't you? Uh, so, so, so we get a map? Here is a copy of the map that I have made. I will always have the original. Note that there may be others looking for this. This information has now come to light. It is the Horn of Calamort. Mm. Mm. Calimort. Before Mort, we say yes, Mort. can I roll to have our um, gold up to 15,000? This 10,000 gold is going to be strong enough. If you come back with this horn intact and untouched, I will be able to throw in maybe some more gold for the travel of the item. It is fragile. Mm. Do not try to read it. Do not try to use it. Do not break it in any shape or form. It comes harmed. I will take you to King Essius myself. Don't try to, just, so don't blow the horn, you're saying. <laughs> don't blow the horn. <laughs> don't blow bad. the horn. I'm, don't drink out of the, don't I'm, drink I'm, out of the horn. Noah, mm -hmm. you notice that the, there's soldiers walking towards you, and they don't look happy. Uh, but you also notice some robed figured men. You have seen men? They're they're heavily robed. Not like these other guys are like desert robes. These guys are like cloak and mm -hmm. and uh, uh, mm -hmm. hood, mm -hmm. and they are paying too much attention to you. Mm -hmm. And then me or us talking to all of you talking. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to uh, notify my friends that I am seeing that we are being spied on by. Uh, both a group of cloaked figures that I've never seen before, as well as them being guarded by military that I've never seen before. Uh, as well. Two separate people are, are paying attention it's to two you. Groups. Two oh, groups. two groups. Yeah. Okay, so I notify them that both groups. I, I can see uh, in both of my eyes okay. um, what's going on by me. Okay. Nice. And no in, in the same time as saying this, I, uh, ask, I ask the man very quickly for my own selfish needs. I ask him as he is a trader of magical items, I ask him very quickly, do you know where the Mustard family jewel is? Ah. Uh, as, as you have traded many magical items oh. to the highest bidder. Damn. Sorry, buddy. You do not know? Uh, uh, I don't know. Can I perception check that head. you're a liar? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, I deal with so many magical items. Come to me in my office when you return and we can see if we can find this jewel of yours. It's not something I know about right now. I will hold Some you to that. expert. I will try to survive this quest so um, I may find and, the most And as he answers that question, he's like, it looks like you guys are getting some unwanted attention. I would start your journey very quickly. Yeah, maybe we should hit the road. I, I agree with this. Yeah. Uh, Wholehearted. Just, here's, here's the map. Hands it to okay. Kulax. Uh, head south to the Fogwood Forest. Okay. That's your first stop. Make it through there. Okay, yes. We'll head to the forest, we'll camp out there, away from these guards and whoever these strange robe figures are. We'll collect ourselves, you know, bandage our wounds. You've been bitten a lot. You're missing most of your shoulder. We'll fix that. And then, uh, and then we'll get going out and we'll get this horn and get, get paid. And as you walk away, uh, uh, the, the, the merchant walks away in a different direction, scurries with his guards, and that is where we end today's episode. Ooh, All right. Nice. Oh boy. All right. Uh, you didn't wow. die. You got close. I, I got close, but I did some damage. You did some damage. Krulax killed two dire trolls. You did, and was acrobatic at a point in do time. Do we get experience for that? Uh, there we are doing milestone experience. Okay. So there will be experience at the end of the adventure. Oh, okay. So if this horn comes back a little damaged, you'll get less experience for it. Okay. Mm. We're I need to write a postcard back <laughs> home to the Millfoot Forest. The Millfoot. We're so far away from home. Uh, and as we wrap that up, remember, uh, we are doing D&D &D on Joven Shire's YouTube channel, which is me, Lasercorn's channel, which is this one here, Thursdays and Fridays for the next few weeks, so be sure to watch both. Uh, and of course, New Element 6 is now live on Atomic Mari's YouTube channel. I've got links to all of our stuff down below, so go hang out. I've got us. links. This is on my oh, channel. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got you links. Got links. I've you got, got links. You've got links. Yeah. You've got links. you got links. you got links. And, and uh, to the new podcast. So yeah. Godcast. I, I'm sorry. The Not Godcast. A podcast. I'm sorry. To the new video series. And that's it. We'll see you all next time. 
Be back here next week for more D&D. Bye, Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. Do be sure and check out uh, Joven Shire's campaign going on on his channel. You can click right over here to see that. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell right over here. And if you want to see us play some sketchy stories, uh, go ahead and click on this video right over here. Okay, see ya!